Welcome video creator, welcome to the video, welcome to the channel. My name is Rory. Today we're going to make this guy walk past some text and the text is going to disappear as he walks beyond it. We're in the edit tab. I'm going to be masking him out with a magic mask. I'm in the studio version. This could be done in the free version. If you want to mask whatever you're going to use out by hand, doesn't have to be a person. You could have a logo going beyond text and the text would disappear. I'm just using a person for this example. It can just be done a lot easier with the magic mask, but it can be done in the free version. So what I'm going to do, I drug our clip into the timeline. I'm going to hold down Alt Option on the Mac. I'm going to bring that up to our third video tag, Track. I'm going to highlight it. We're going to jump over into the color page. We're going to turn on our magic mask, which is this icon right here. We're going to make sure that overlay is on. And then we're going to come up here and we're going to mask him. I'm going to zoom in here a little. I'm going to click again. Make sure we get them all. Looks pretty good. So what we're going to do now, if you were in the middle of your timeline somewhere when you masked him, you would want to track both forward and backwards. But since I'm in the beginning of the timeline, we only have to track forward. So I'm going to track forward. It'll just take a few seconds down to 50, but that's 50 seconds of your time. I'm going to pause it and we're done tracking. So we're going to come over here in this area here and right click. We're going to add alpha output. We're going to connect here to our alpha output we just created. We're going to jump over into our edit page. Now, if we were to play this ahead, it doesn't look any different. But we're going to come up here to our effects panel. We're going to click on titles, and I'm going to bring a text in between these two. Now, you can type whatever you want. I'm just going to type behind. I'm going to leave the same font, but I'm going to make it extra bold. I'm going to come to the Layout tab. I'm going to bring that down a bit, and I'm going to bring it over. So the B is right about there. We're going to play this ahead and make sure that it's completely out of the frame as it moves. I'm just going to shorten these up. We don't need it all. So what we're going to do with our text highlighted, we're going to click on settings. We're going to activate this box. We're going to go to settings, cropping. We're going to crop left. We're at the beginning of our playhead. So we're going to crop until that B, just about where the B would start. I'll start right there because we don't need to keyframe for a bunch of dead space here. So we're going to start it right here. We're going to set a keyframe at that crop left. We're going to bring our playhead forward till he's beyond the D. And we're going to continue to crop left until it's gone. Then set a keyframe automatically. I'm going to double click to get rid of that. I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to get home on our keyboard. I'm going to press the space bar to play it. And you see as he walks beyond it, it disappears. Pretty simple. Kind of a neat effect. Now you know how to do it. If you learned anything, please like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next video.